going on guys welcome back to another video and today i have a uh two truck hot wheels monster jam unboxing and review if you guys haven't seen my uh la latest uh trade box with monster jam collector 2007 i definitely do recommend ch uh, checking out that video before you watch this one because it kind of will spoil some things of course so uh the two trucks i am going to be unboxing today are 2009 Screaming Demon uh plast uh Screaming Demon tilt offs and as well as the uh 2000 2009 um tilt offs destroyer. So I am gonna focus on the uh, trucks just like this for a minute so I can just start talking about them. So um I did get these from Monster Gem Collector 2007. So thanks again, man, for these two awesome trucks. I am gonna be unboxing them. So there's two more tilt off trucks to add to my collection. By the way, I did need both of these trucks. My other Screaming Demon doesn't even have the, like, plastic roll ch chassis, sorry, plastic chassis at all. And then I don't have a single version of this Destroyer with the boat at all. So that's why I uh, have decided to open these trucks up. So, hopefully that that will be, uh, that would have been long to talk about for a good thumbnail, I would say. So, um, I'll start off with Screaming Demon, I'll say. So I'll start off with Screaming Demon. Here is what the truck looks like out of the package, of course. The package is in very good condition, so you can see the Hot Wheels logo and Tilt-Offs logo as well. Then, of course, the old Monster Jam logo, which looks awesome. And then Screaming Demon, uh, the, uh, the little uh, picture of Screaming Demon on the bottom right there. So now, let's look at the trucks on the back. I don't know what case this is either, but this is something from, this is a case from 2009, I'll tell you that. We got Rolling Thunder, which is a truck I do want to get. Scarlet Banner, already got it. Screaming Demon, we got it. As well as the Q Torque Ironella, I also have him as well. But I actually might want to get another one of him because my older one is kind of beat up. So that's all I'll tell you for that. So uh, without further ado, let's get this truck unboxed with. And I'll try to, uh, I do definitely want to keep this card, card. So I'll try to be as careful as I can with it. That's I always like starting off with the bottom so I don't like go like that at all so i always like starting off with this there we go oh no, we just gotta follow him down there we go exactly what we were looking for and should pop off somewhere does it i don't even know now let's now let's grab out screaming demon we'll set him right there i'm gonna see if i can grab the card how do I grab this card? Oh, just ripped it. Well, I accidentally did that to the bottom of it, but hey, we got the card, so I will keep this card. So I'll set that right there, set that down there, and I'll remove this uh, plastic part of it, so we don't need that. And uh, we'll roll Screaming Demon um, right there for now. Or he'll keep rolling, I don't know. So there is the Screaming Demon uh, logo and uh, the render of the truck. Number 60 out of 75. I'll keep this as well because why not? Just, just why not? So I'll set that right there. And uh, time to review the pl uh, brand new plastic base uh, tilt-off Screaming Demon. So of course this is a tilt-off. So the tr body likes to do that. Wow, very clean. Wow, very great truck indeed. And the roll cage actually isn't like, you know breaking off or anything yeah this is a very awesome truck to have to my collection i do remember screaming demon as a kid i love this truck honestly it was very cool it was a very cool truck i didn't get to see it but there you can see the body uh the tilt off action right there <laughs> so now let's do a in-depth graphics review on this old screaming demon here of course, you can see the Screaming Demon logo. I'll actually start off with the flames. And then, of course, you can see the Screaming Demon logo, as well as the old Monster Jam logo and the old Hot Wheels logo. Moving this way, of course, you can see the old uh, style flames. Going up to the front and hood of the truck, you can see the Screaming Demon logo on top with more flames. And then the old Ford tooling, which they reused so many times in the past. The, the other side is the exact same thing. Then on the back, you have Screaming Demon. And then up on top on the roof, you got nothing. Except for... That right there, which is probably just paint. Let's see if I can get it. Where's that? I gotta take a look at it. Can't even get that off. I don't know what the heck that was, but oh well. Come on, zoom out for me, camera. Oh, zoomed out too far. So there's the plastic base. Uh, tilt offs again. Tilt offs. Screaming demon. Very awesome truck. May make its debut in Sign of Series 33 as well. I don't know. So now let's move on to. The uh, Tilt-Offs uh, 2009 Destroyer. 
I love this truck. So that is what it looks like in the package. You can, of course, see the uh, Destroyer logo, then the rendering of the truck, number 14 out of 75. Then here are the trucks on the back. You can see Excalibur, the old Excalibur, Black Stallion, War Wizard, the Shocks, Monster Mutt, and Tilt Off's Destroyer. Then, of course, the Show Off Showdown Ramp, which I use for my sign-up series, by the way. Very rarely will I use the six-lane drag strip, but I like using that one anyways. I do remember getting that in Christmas 2009, <laughs> same year. And then I never got this Crash Cage set, but I do have this playset Grave Digger. Then I have actually three of these. Uh, diggers, dungeon, grave diggers, as I call it, anyways. So, without further ado, let's get this uh, destroyer unboxed with. Has it already been opened? Oh, it actually has. Great, we'll start off with this side then. Let's see here. Just gotta follow along with it. Or we could start off with this side and just meet it in the middle right there. Actually, I might as well just do that. Come on, work with me, card. Oh, there we go. Finally got it off. Now let's take out... Now let's get Destroyer out without touching him. There we go. Now let's uh, take this card off. There we go. That's how you're supposed to take the card off. Just like that, with uh, nothing on the back right there. So that's how you're supposed to do it. But anyways, there's this card for, uh, from 2009 as well. So... Now, I'm going to take the uh, plastic part off of Destroyer, and then the body is going to come off, just like that. <laughs> so we don't need this anymore. So now let's take a look at the rendering and logo of, uh, of the old Destroyer. So of course you can see the old Destroyer logo and the rendering of the, of the old Destroyer. And then number 14 out of 75, like I already said, so I'll keep this as well. So now let's take a look at the brand new... Destroyer Tilt-Offs from 2009. Yes, I do remember getting this truck as a little kid, honestly. Oh, this was one of my um, one of my old favorite trucks. I love this truck. Uh, I do remember having this truck in my collection. Um, yeah, it's a very plain truck, but it's super memorable to me. I love it, honestly. And then, of course, this is the Tilt-Offs one, by the way. So, there's the Tilt-Off action. Then you can easily snap it back on if you want. So now let's do an in-depth graphics review on him. Zoom in here. Of course, you can see the awesome battleship, or the ship as I call it, or the boat. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Then, of course, you can see the Destroyer logo. Then you have the old Monster Jam logo, as well as the old Hot Wheels logo. And then Dan Evans up on top. Of course, the original driver of Destroyer, Airman Dan Evans, as they as they called him. Then, of course, going up to the front, front and hood of the truck. Of course, you can see the old Ford tooling with the beautiful red paint job. It looks awesome in person. The other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back, you got nothing on the back. And then up on the roof, you got uh, the uh, missiles that went along with the uh, truck. Yeah, that went along with the truck, I should say. Yeah, it did go along with it. No, it went along with the boat. What the heck am I talking about? I don't know. Ooh, you know what I can do? This will be pretty sweet. This will be pretty sweet. I'm going to go like this, I'm going to go like this, have the truck up, oh, I don't have anything to hold, actually, you know what, I could probably just hold the trucks like this, and hopefully the bodies will stay up, up on, or stay up, kind of like Screaming Demon, stay up with him, Destroyer, please, dang it, well, oh well, at least you guys got to see the tilt-off action, I can't, um, I can't hold it up like that, because it'll just come back down, but anyways, so, that will pretty much wrap it up on this old Hot Wheels Monster Jam unboxing of the 2009 Tilt-Offs Destroyer, as well as Screaming Demon. Um, if you guys happen to see these trucks on eBay or at a collector store, um, I'd recommend picking them up. Tilt-Offs are pretty cool. I do remember having a lot of them as a little kid, but these two trucks are very memorable to me, and I'm happy to have them in my collection. So, thank you all for watching. More videos coming soon. Make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It's 100% free. You guys can always undo it. We're on the road to 350 subscribers as well. So, this is Master Jam Fan 0311 signing out.